In this experiment, we're going to see the effects of um, a light versus dark treatment on the germination and edibility of mung beans. And to do this, uh, we're going to be kind of sloppy with our measurements this time, because um, if you want to eat mung beans, typically on the package, it says to do like a tablespoon at a time, and that will be enough for you to enjoy. And, and so I'm just going to measure out a tablespoon in here. And then you're going to want two containers. Ah, they're running all over the place. That's okay. All right. So here's a tablespoon of mung beans. And now I'm going to dump one tablespoon in this clear container and one tablespoon in this not clear container. Um, my child's sippy cup is going to work really, really well for this because it has a lid that's pretty much opaque, but then it also has these holes in it. And somebody was commenting last time about how they thought that being in um, all water would make your beans rot. One of my tricks was that I had these containers that had um, lids with holes in them, and every day I would just kind of swirl it a little bit and then also change out the water. So that's going to be really important for you in um, growing these beans. So that's pretty full, but the we gotta think that each one of these is gonna turn into a plant and so it's gonna um, drastically increase its surface area to volume ratio here. Uh, it'll encompass the entire plant. So I actually started these on Monday the 11th and this is how the beans look now. Swirl around in there a little bit. They're starting to lose their seed coat, just like we observed with the last set. I did not bring the set out that's in the dark because that would ruin the experiment. So I'm going to use um, the plants that are in the light to kind of be my indicator for when I should take out the plants that are in the dark. I drain this water uh, once every day. I swirl it around really good, drain it give it a rinse and then drain it again and then add new water. And then just as I walk past them a couple of times a day, I swirl them to make sure that you're not um, depleting all of the oxygen that's in the water. So, um, I do the same thing with the cup that has the opaque lid on it. Um, and to avoid exposing them to light. Usually I kind of block the holes with my fingers on the top here. And then I don't open it the whole way. I just crack it a little bit so that I can pour the water out without spilling out the beans. And then I close it back up and I put it back in the cupboard so that uh, it'll stay in the dark. And that's going to be the general experiment. Um, this is at two days. So you can have this as your observation for two days. Uh, most of the things that I've read on the internet say that it takes three to five days to get sprouts. Um, if it's any indication from the last experiment that we did um, last week with the mung beans and the black beans, I don't think that five days is going to be quite enough time to have sprouts that you would want to eat. Uh, the reason why we're going to try to do this light versus dark experiment is I've seen where uh, the taste is different for both the, um, fre the light and the dark grown beans, and people tend to prefer the ones grown in the dark. They're, uh, I guess they're a little bit sweeter, um, so maybe they just haven't made bitter compounds associated with photosynthesizing. I don't know. We'll find out.